Does standing in front of a microwave actually fry your brain? Are you risking damage to your DNA and causing birth defects in your unborn children every time you reheat old food? The answer is no, absolutely not. I'm George, I'm a middle school science teacher, and I'm gonna tell you two reasons why it's perfectly safe to cheer on your popcorn whenever you're waiting for it. Let's go! First, microwaves are basically little prison cells for energy because they're wrapped in something called a Faraday cage. That's a fancy way of saying that the metal walls and even that mesh on the door keep the microwaves inside. Sure, the holes look big, but to microwaves, these holes are like trying to fit a human being through a chain link fence. No. It just doesn't happen. So unless your brain is literally inside a microwave, the waves can't get you. But George, if my microwave is faulty, can radiation leak out and fry my brain? Well, that's a good question, but the answer is still no, because microwaves are non-ionizing. Microwaves are a type of radiation, and the word radiation scares people. However, when people are thinking about that type of scary radiation, they're actually only thinking about ionizing radiation. This is a big word with a simple meaning. It just means that that type of radiation has enough energy to knock electrons off your atoms, which is bad for your DNA. Keeping your DNA safe is important because it's the code that keeps your body running. Since you pass this code on to your children, healthy DNA is important for healthy babies. <coughs> Ionizing radiation destroys DNA and in turn can cause cancer, organ failure, and birth defects. One example of ionizing radiation is gamma radiation, which is what people think of when they think of nuclear decay. Gamma radiation is extremely dangerous, and it's why I needed to be careful walking around Chernobyl in Ukraine. Microwaves, on the other hand, are non-ionizing radiation, which means that they don't have the energy to do that kind of damage to your DNA. Exposing your DNA to non-ionizing radiation is akin to trying to cut down a tree with a wiffle ball bat. It just doesn't do any damage. No. Ionizing radiation, however, is a bit more damaging. So George, does that mean I'd be safe if I went inside a microwave? Well, no, don't do that. See, microwaves are energy, and they act by increasing the speed of water molecules, which is why they heat up your food without breaking it down. Your body is made almost entirely of water molecules. So if you were to be put in a giant microwave oven and exposed to a massive amount of microwaves, then the water molecules in your body would start to heat up. This probably wouldn't feel amazing. No. However, the damage to your skin would be more akin to that of touching the hot hood of a car in the summertime Ow. rather than that of standing inside a nuclear reactor. Touching a hot car hurts. Ow. but it doesn't damage your DNA and thus does not increase your chances of skin cancer. Ah. Now you know that you can safely watch your food heat up and you don't have to pretend to like cold pizza anymore.